Hey, I'm back. We're going to cut or go through, cut through. We're going to go through the important ideas from that first section of chapter five. So big idea number one, and we can pretty much split this down the middle. Um, number one, probability. It's supposed to be a pound sign. It's a hashtag, Mr. Hayes. Okay, so um, probability is in the long run relative frequency. That's what a probability is. Long run relative frequency. All right. Couple of things. It is always between zero and one. You cannot have a probability less than one or less than zero and bigger than one. You just can't. I mean, you can, long term, you can't have something that happens more often than what you try. All right. Um, remember, the short term is unpredictable. If you want to see more about that, actually look up the Sports Illustrated cover curse. Um, because oftentimes when athletes do really, really well, they end up on the sport the cover of magazines. And invariably, what ended up happening was they start to what's called revert to norm. So they do really high, they're above their average, and then all of a sudden after they're on, they, you know, they're quote unquote, they're due, but then they oftentimes will come back down and then seem like they're normal. But because of that, it looks like they're going into a slump. So, and then there's this law of large numbers. So for that, so if we do something many, many times, the proportion of desired outcomes, desired again is what you're looking for, not necessarily what's good. So the proportion of desired outcomes will approach its probability. Sorry, that shouldn't be apostrophe there. Fixed um, probability. The longer you do something, the more likely you're seeing what's actually going on. All right. Um, so anyway, so take a second, pause there. We'll go through this in a second. Talk to you soon. All right, so here, use four of the following probabilities to complete the middle column of the table and give an example of each. So this outcome is impossible. It can never occur. So these are your outcomes, probabilities there. So that's going to be a probability of a zero. What's something that's impossible? Okay, so for example, let's keep it simple. Rolling a seven on a standard die. I say standard because some of you are like, there's a 20 set of die. You know, yeah, okay, fine. Six sided die, can't do it. Um, likewise, what's an outcome that always happens? That's gonna happen one. So that'd be like rolling one through six on a standard die. So those are things that always happen. This outcome is very unlikely, but it will occur once in a while if you do it long enough. So which one of those would do that? Which is which one is like so unlikely it could happen, but probably not. That would be our one thousandth chance. So like for example, if I asked you to guess a number between one and a thousand. An outcome will occur more often than not, but does not occur almost every single time. So which one is more often than not? Okay, more often than not means that you're above 50%. So at that point, the point six one is gonna happen. This would mean it's happening almost every time. This one is happening occasionally. So like for example, you know, spinning and hitting green. So I've got the circle here. Make that roughly two thirds. Make the rest purple. Put a little arrow on it. Okay. 
Now on the Wheel of Fortune, there is a 1 9th or 11.1% probability of spinning a bankrupt at any given spin. So what's the interpret interpreting the property? Now again, remember not saying 11% of the time it's gonna happen. What you have to say is, after many, many spins, about, because it can't be exact, 11.1% of spins will land on bankrupt. And if I remember correctly, I was trying to look up a friend of mine who had been on Wheel of Fortune. There are actually websites where people keep track of all of this. So feel free to go take a look. Um, in nine consecutive spins, Wheel of Fortune, none of the spins land on bankrupt. The next contestant worries that he is more likely to land on a bankrupt because the bankrupt is due, quote unquote. That's kind of like what we were talking about with the SI curse. Explain why this thinking is wrong. Well, what's the chance of each spin landing on a bankrupt? Each spin has an 11.1% chance, or probability would be a better way of saying it. I was, in my stats class, always said chance when I was taught, and so I'm in the process of relearning it. It does not matter what the previous spins were. Since each spin is independent, okay, every time you spin, you have an 11.1% chance of hitting bankrupt. So just because you're doing it doesn't matter that you're do for it. It's the same thing like with if you got, well, hold on a second, let me finish this. So probability is unpredictable. In the short term. Okay, and that's the important thing to remember. Um, it's sort of like I've had friends who had three boys. Um, they got pregnant again, and then everybody was like, Oh man, you do for a girl. Yeah, da, 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 da. You're probably gonna have a girl because you already had three boys. And it's like, yeah, now it's still 50-50 shot each individual time. Now, if you're starting from scratch, there's a something different, and we'll talk about that this unit. But anyway, that's the basics. I gotta run. You gotta run. Go do stuff. Learn lots. Enjoy yourselves. Talk to you soon. Mm -hmm.